Real Housewives of New York star Luanda Lesseps, 52, is facing the possibility of up to five years in jail after being charged with three different crimes and threatening police officers that arrested her for an alleged drunken attack back in December. We spoke exclusively with Florida criminal defense attorney, Richard Hornsby about the serious case and after taking a look at the official documents from Luann's charges, he broke down what it could mean for her. Richard told us Luann has been formally charged with the following, 1. Resisting an officer with violence, which is a third-degree felony punishable by any combination of 5 years in prison, 5 years of probation, or a $5,000 fine. 2. Trespass in a structure, which is a first-degree misdemeanor punishable by any combination of 1 year in jail, 1 year of probation, or a $1,000 fine and 3. Disorderly intoxication, which is a second-degree misdemeanor punishable by any combination of 60 days in jail, 6 months of probation, or a $500 fine. Assuming Ms. Deliceps has no prior criminal history, the worst-case scenario is most likely 1 to 3 years of probation with special conditions she obtain a substance abuse evaluation and complete any recommended treatment, complete community service and write letters of apology to the law enforcement officers, Richard said. Most likely though, her attorneys will probably either, 1, negotiate her admission into a diversionary program for first-time offenders, which is similar to probation but results in dismissal of the charges upon completion of the diversionary program, or, 2, negotiate a plea to a misdemeanor and one year of probation, with the same conditions as mentioned above, Although Richard's opinion on what Luann might face is not as extreme as it could be, the video of her disturbing arrest was still shocking and left many wondering just how much trouble she was getting herself into. Shortly after the incident, Luann checked herself into a rehab center and issued an official statement that included an apology about what went down. I have decided to seek professional guidance and will be voluntarily checking into an alcohol treatment center. The statement read, I intend to turn this unfortunate incident into a positive life, changing event. Once again, I sincerely apologize for my actions. I have the greatest respect for police officers and the job that they do. My actions alleged in the police report do not reflect my core values and my law-abiding character. I am so grateful for the love and support that I am receiving from my family, friends and loyal supporters. We send our best wishes to Luan and all those involved in the unfortunate situation and hope it gets resolved soon.